LLC. Welcome back to your 11th installment of LCTV. I'm Gabriella Grohovac. And I'm Isabella Bourne. And on this week's episode, we'll be discussing the difference between macroeconomics and microeconomics. Taking a look at a student who takes disposables. And seeing some of our very own LC students and their hidden talents. For our first current news, we'll be talking about how a lady found a huge spider in a McDonald's wrap demanding compensation. The 21-year-old woman ordered a bacon and chicken McWrap along with chips and a burger for lunch. After munching through nearly three-fourths of the wrap, she came across something so hard. At first, she thought it was a hard part of a tomato or lettuce, but closer examination, it turned out to be a huge spider. She said that it seemed to be an exotic species that she hadn't seen around the area. She was immensely disgusted and contacted the McDonald's outlet for a refund, but she wasn't convinced and demanded compensation instead of a replacement meal. I totally agree with the woman for suing McDonald's for finding a spider in her chicken wrap at McDonald's. I would totally sue them and I would call health services on McDonald's to have them inspect the company for any literally insects or bugs or anything because if I were to eat that or anyone else that could severely ill them and maybe possibly even kill them so I agree with her 100%. Next, we'll be talking about changes to the SAT coming in the future. The SAT, a standardized test commonly taken during the junior year of high school, will become a digital test starting in 2024. The test will also be shortened from three hours long to two hours. Students will be able to use their own devices or one from the school, but the test itself will become more unique, making it harder to cheat. I think that it's going to be beneficial that the SAT will be shorter, but I'm also curious to see if it's going to be like harder or easier depend like because it's digital and not like the way that it usually is. Our first story covers the difference between mi macroeconomics and microeconomics. All right, so the skills you're going to need for to take micro or macro uh, economics is you're going to need a basic math skills because there are some formulas, things like that. So if you're going to be good at math, you're good at analytical stuff like that, you're going to be pretty good at this. And also... You want to have a lot of um, analytical thinking and critical thinking skills as uh, we do a lot of story problem work and uh, a lot of free response questions. Major topics covered in microecon um, include things like supply and demand, prices, cost of production, basically microeconomics economics deals with um, like small scale economic issues, whereas macroeconomics deals with our country's economy as a whole. Um, Macro is going to look at the entire world and the entire economy as a whole. So, so the information that you hear on the news and stuff like that uh, on a given night or that when politicians talk, that's going to be mostly macro information. So if you take macro, you're going to understand like GDP, unemployment numbers, uh, world trade ideas, and things like that when they talk about tariffs, embargoes, and things like that as well. Uh, whereas if you're going into like the business field, um, generally both are going to be good, but micro would be then probably more important for that. Yes, and definitely for students interested in studying business in college, um, it's definitely a great idea to take both um, microeconomics and ma macroeconomics at some point in high school. Wow, I'm so glad I know the difference now. Hey Ella, do you have a disposable camera? No, I don't, but I'm really curious in how Courtney uses her disposable camera. Hi, my name is Courtney Pereira, and I started taking disposable pictures my sophomore year of high school. I was inspired by David Dobrik and his account, so I wanted to start my own. I probably have around 600 pictures right now. I like to take them at like football games and dances, just like big events that everyone goes to. I like to get them at Target. They take about 28 pictures, and then once it's full, I'll go to Walgreens and get it developed, which takes about a week. Once I get them developed, I take each picture individually and then crop it and post it so everyone can see and repost them on their stories. I have about 150 followers on my disposable account, and every time I post pictures from a big event, people will repost them to their Instagram stories. So last year when juniors couldn't go to prom, I hosted a fake prom at my lake house, 
And that was probably my favorite event I've taken pictures of. I just got so many like good pictures and everyone loved them. So some of my favorite pictures I've taken are the first picture I've ever taken, which was sophomore year homecoming. And then junior year homecoming, some of my guy friends with my friend's mom. <laughs> And then junior year prom, some of my guy friends um, on a slide when we were taking pictures. And then a random weekend in summer with two of my best friends. And then I had a surprise party for one of my best friends at the end of summer. And my most favorite picture is the first home football game of the season. I would definitely recommend people to start doing this. It's just easy and fun and it's such a great way to like capture memories through high school. I definitely want to get one for myself so I can start taking pictures. Me too. And now a word from our sponsors. Float 60 provides a variety of services geared towards relaxation and muscle revitalization. The main service it provides is the opportunity to float in 1,000 pounds of Epsom salts in complete darkness or soothing lights. This allows you to clear your mind and reach a state of well-being. After you finish your 60 or 90 minute float, you can relax in a calming room with soothing music, peaceful lights, and various flavors of tea. You can also sit in a state-of-the-art sauna to release toxins. A complimentary hair and skin station is also at your disposal after your float. Local or full body cryotherapy is also a service able to be purchased to ease stressed muscles. On your way out, be sure to purchase face masks, teas, and other wellness products. I don't have a secret talent, but I know there are some students who do. Cam, Mia, and Tyler, take it away. Today we're going to be searching for some hidden talents in the halls. Let's go, LC. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, I could do a backflip. I think I can do the worm. Let's see it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. That was perfect. Thank yeah, I can't wiggle my ears. I can dance. Nice. Give a hidden talent. Yes. Yep. Watch this. Yeah, man. <laughs> Most claps in a minute. All right, we're gonna go. Ready, set, go. Two, one. Yeah! Good job. Thank you for the chance, man. Yeah. I love everyone's different talents. Same. Now let's take a look at Poppin' Paletas. What's up, LC? I'm Greta Siegert. I'm Claire Bender. And I'm Olivia Fig. And this week, we are at Poppin' Paletas. Let's check it out. Poppin' Paletas is located in Cherville, Indiana off of Route 30. They're open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every Wednesday through Sunday. Their menu includes milkshakes, paletas, and ice cream with homemade waffle cones. They have a wide assortment of paletas including strawberry, orange dreamsicle, and mango chili. There's a variety of different popcorn, and for Valentine's Day, they're offering chocolate-covered strawberries. Poppin' Paletas has a large indoor seating area, perfect to hang out. Go check it out. That was a really cool place. I'm gonna start going there from now on. Now we're gonna check out the club of the week. My name is Nia, and I started the first anime club at this school. I started the anime club because I felt like that everybody needed a place to express themselves without having to seem like they're weird or unordinary, basically. Most meetings will probably play trivia games or try to get to know each other more, trying to figure out like what animes are we all interested in or what animes we want to get interested in or new animes that we want to find out equally. We try to meet once a month or even twice a month or as frequently as we can. If they want to sign up for Anime Club, they should contact Miss Civic on the second floor C Hall of room C206. Towards the end of the year, we are planning to have a convention or go to a convention by the end of the year. The important things I would like to tell people about my club is that we're very open-minded, we'll accept anything, and um, we won't, we're not, we're just free area. So if you like a certain anime or if you want to talk about a certain anime, we'll find a talk about that and we'll love to hear it. 
I love seeing people involved at LC in different ways. Let's see what LC students are tweeting about teachers. At Mrs. Novak, do you want to build a snowman while eating your cheeseburger in paradise? Hashtag bring back Bosco's. I hear you. I would love to bring back Bosco sticks. They're wonderful. At Mrs. Collard, does Mrs. Collard ever stop talking? Nope. I'm always talking. <laughs> if you ever need someone to do your taxes, ask Mr. O. Elsie boys need to go to Miss Gray to bulk up. Hashtag she has bigger muscles than you. That's probably true. <laughs> okay, read it out loud. Oh my god! <laughs> you have to read it out loud. Can I take my mask off? Yes, sure. If I ever think I have a messy room with a lot of clutter, I think of Mr. Clark's room and feel better. That's sad. <laughs> it was messy years ago, not now. But I'll tell you what, come to the museum at the Safety Village Veterans Museum if you want to see clutter. That was really funny. I love how the teachers are such good sports about it. Don't you, Bella? Yes, I love cracking a good joke with the teachers. What's up, LC? Today we will be playing Are You Smarter Than a Freshman with some freshmen and some upperclassmen. I'm Drew. I'm Bryn. I'm Nimir. And I'm Corey. The first question is, what is it called when a character thinks out loud? A, illusion, B, metaphor, or C, soliloquy? Soliloquy? Correct! <laughs> no, I'm yes, not <laughs> No! How many years does the House of Representatives serve? A I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I knew! So Drew, this is for you. A, four years, B, two years, or C, three years? Two years. You are correct. You totally guessed on that. Oh no, my didn't. god. No, I didn't. What is the powerhouse of the cell called? A, oh nucleus, B, mitochondria, or C, Golgi apparatus? Mitochondria. <laughs> 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 good job. Good job. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, okay. What is this literary device called? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? A, onomatopoeia, B, alliteration, or C, hyperbole? Alliteration. <laughs> I love how I I'm going to break my nail on the table. Oh my god. What is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? A, 90 degrees, B, 180 degrees, or C, 360 degrees? 180. You are correct. Oh, no, I'm Boom. not that either. What is the first phase of mitosis? A, prophase, B, metaphase, or C, anaphase? <laughs> Profit. You are correct. I think, I think it's a name. troll. What is the longest river in the world? Oh, yes. A, the Amazon River, B, the Congo River, or C, the Nile River? Oh, you grabbed Dead. it before I finished saying it. All right. Your answer is in here. The Nile River. You are correct. Hi. We got this. The word poof is an example of A, an alliteration, B, an onomatopoeia, or C, a simile. Onomatopoeia. You are correct. Wow. This <laughs> is the last question who will determine who will win. I cannot lose to my brother. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Okay. Final question is, what is the formula of slope? A, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, B, Y equals MX plus B, or C, Length times width times height. B. You are correct. Yeah. Oh my god. Ashton wins. No. No. That does not count. It does not count. It I does count. count. It does count. Get out of my face. How does it feel to lose to the freshmen? Uh, disappointing. I mean, we could have done better. Well, I could have done better. But next time, we got him next time. You know, I, I feel that. I'm, I'm really embarrassed because I talked so much trash before we got in here. But you know, in my mind, I still know I'm smarter. So it's all good. <laughs> so how does it feel to win? It feels really good. Um, they were kind of overrated. And it just feels really good to get the win. Uh, yeah, it feels good. I mean, there was really no challenge to it. We just pretty much didn't even have to try it all. Thanks for watching. Are you smarter than a freshman? Bye. <laughs> Well, that's it for today, LC. I'm Gabriella Gerhovac. And I'm Isabella Bourne. 
Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Lake Central Television, which is where you can find the links to our website, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. You can also find them in the description below. Thank you for watching and can't wait to see you next time. Bye! Bye.